I find this KDE Plasma 5 desktop layout to be the most productive. I have the main menu on the left, so I can quickly access all the open applications. If I want to start an application, I go to the button and click on any of these quick launch icons. When an application opens full screen, it goes behind the system tray, so I save some vertical space here. And if I want to see the state of my system, I can look at the set of widgets shown on my desktop. Watch this video and you will find out how to configure this desktop layout. Hello everyone, I'm Search Linux user, helping you to install, configure and use Linux. And in this quick video, I will show you how I configured my KDE desktop layout. The first thing we need to do is to move this uh, panel from the bottom to the left. To do that, you click on the panel menu, then you go to the screen edge, and you click the left mouse button, you hold the button, and you drag your menu to the left. Then we increase its width a little bit. Then I would like to change the menu. This is the default menu, but like the alternative one. So you right click on the menu, go to alternatives, and select the last one here, and you switch. So now you have this menu, which I think is much better because you can quickly access all the categories here. And if you want, you can also change the applications in your favorites. I usually just keep the system settings here. The next thing I would like to change is the default task manager. So to do that, we're gonna remove it here and we go to the widgets and we add icon task manager only. So when we edit it, we need to move it to the top. Then we need to remove the system tray from the panel. I also would like to change the clock settings. So you go to the settings menu. I use 24. I also like to show the date. We apply. Now the clock is much bigger. And the last thing I would like to do in this panel is to add the widget show desktop. So you click add widgets and you type desktop. Here you have two choices, either show desktop or minimize all windows. They function very similar, but there is some difference. Check them out what you like most. I like show desktop. So I place it here and then I move it to the top. So now if I have any application open, I click and you see it moves out from the desktop so I can see my desktop. Why I need this? Because I want to place some widgets on the desktop. So when I click show desktop, I can see my widgets here. So then we right click on the desktop and we go to the add panel and we add empty panel. And this will be our tray panel. So we move it to the top. Then you go to the settings. Here you select windows go below. So the panel is always visible and you select the panel alignment to the right. Then you can see this small arrow here. So you drag it and you make the panel the size you want. The next thing I want to do is to decide on its height. To do that, I open Firefox. And usually I try to make its height that I can see the Firefox tabs. For example, now as you can see, if it goes that big, you won't see the Firefox tabs when they reach the right side. So I align it somewhere like this, right above the Firefox tabs here. So now it's aligned and we go to the widgets and we add the tray widget here. So you double click on it and it appears here. It's aligned to the left, which is okay for me. If you want it to be aligned to the right, you can also add spacer. And you move the spacer before the uh, tray. Uh. So the system tray is configured. It's also important that you place your button to the left here, because if you place them to the right, you won't be able to access them. Uh, if you want to configure the button, you go to system settings application style and in the window decoration in the buttons here you can drag and drop different buttons and configure them for example you can add button shade for to the panel if you want but i'm not gonna do that so i just close here and discard the changes and the last panel i want to configure is the quick uh, launch panel so again we add empty panel then we click on it so we select right alignment as it was before but in the visibility, we say auto hide. So usually the panel will be hidden, but when we move our mouse to the button, it appears. And we will place some quick start application in this panel. So we adjust its width. Then you go to the widgets. And here you type uh, quick launcher. So here it is. Double click on it. It appears on the panel. Now we don't have any applications here. But uh, you can right click and add the launcher. For example, you can add GIMP here. 
and we have GIMP. Maybe you can also make it a bit higher. If you don't have that many applications, you can change the settings here a little bit more. For example, you can select center and you can make it smaller if you want like this. And then you add application after application, the one you're going to use. For example, we can add here like VLC player. Now when we click on any of the application, for example VLC, it quickly opens. And the last thing we need to do is to place some system monitor widgets on the desktop. So you click on the menu of any panel and you click add more widgets. The first thing I would like to add is the CPU monitor. So I type CPU, here is the CPU monitor, place it here. Then I have memory status. I also use hard disk space monitor and I also use hard disk input output monitor. This is not necessary, but you can also use it. And the last thing is the network. Then you need to align these widgets. To do that, you place it where you want. Then you do left click with your mouse and you hold the left button pressed and the menu will appear. So then you can change the size of these widgets like this. You can also go to the menu and select what you want this widget to show. Alternatively, you can also right click and go to the settings and you will see the same here. So you place it here and you do the same for all the other widgets. So this is the desktop layout which I found the most productive. All the open applications are shown here in the left panel, so you can quickly see what you have open. If you want to start some application, you can quickly start them from the bottom panel. And you always have your system tray accessible here, which is much easier to read when it's in the horizontal than when it's here in the bottom panel. And if you want, you can always click on the show desktop and quickly monitor your system status here. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe.